available at Facebook.com. Welcome back, Well2 family. My name is David Zisa, and today we're going to show you guys how to lay out and draw ISO. Alright guys, so I know the main question is, what is an isometric drawing for any of you that have never seen one? An isometric drawing is the view that you will be looking at this piping and the way it's drawn out to be able to fabricate and draw this piping. Behind me here, you know, I have common fittings and layouts here of how isometrics are drawn. Socket weld flange, weld neck flange, socket weld 90, butt weld 90, socket weld gate valve, butt weld gate valve, eccentric reducer, concentric reducer. These are probably your most common fittings that you'll be dealing with. Most of the time, uh, when we're building piping, we usually have a nice engineering isometric drawing, but on some cases, like uh, when you're doing uh, plant maintenance or doing stuff like that, you know, you don't have a drawing when they go ask you to go replace a section of piping. So you will actually have to go over there and draw out and measure out your own ISO to be able to fabricate your piping. So in front of me, I have a blank isometric sheet here. And at first glance, for anybody that's never seen this, it can be very confusing. You know, you see a lot of lines, a lot of squares, and it's very hard to kind of orientate yourself on how it should be drawn. When you're actually drawing this on ISO, it's not gonna be a two-dimensional drawing. It's actually three-dimensional, and it can be rotated just depending on how you want it to draw your piping. Right here, I've kind of drawn typical directions of piping, just so you can see how the lines kind of orientate. And one of the biggest things that you're going to be dealing with when you're drawing is how you're orientated looking at it. You know, which way would you be facing north? I have north drawn this way. As you can see, I have our north and south line running this way. I have our east and west line running this way. And then I also have the up and down. So a lot of you may have never seen, uh, you know, fitting symbols and stuff like that. And for that, we're going to refer to our Chico cards. On here, they actually show you know, typical flanges and typical fittings, what they look like drawn in the isometric form. You know, they also do have your 45 degree offsets shown in isometric here. So if you're confused reading a drawing or something, you know, this is a good way to kind of refer back, to double check yourself. And also here where you have your fitting uh, makeups, you can see here, they also have it shown the typical symbols and typical drawings for various fittings here you know reducers t's 45s 90s caps flanges you know if you're ever confused or unsure of how to draw it you can always refer back to these okay guys so first thing here i have the isometric paper in front of me and we are going to decide which way we are going to draw north here i'm going to go ahead and point it up to this right hand corner so that'll be north for us here and then I like to, on this upper right hand corner, is make a box for our bill of material here. And guys, I'm using this uh, rapid design template for isometrics here. Just helps keep everything cleaner and nicer. Not necessary, but it does help. So what we are gonna draw is basically an L-type spool piece, you know, tying into two valves. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a valve here using our template. This is gonna be a gate valve. I'm gonna draw the second valve here. And our spool piece is basically going to come in up and come over 
to the east and tie into this valve here. And this spool piece is gonna have a weld neck flange, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that now. The line is gonna come down here. I'm gonna draw our other line here, and it is gonna go to signify that it is a weld neck. I'm gonna put our dot here and our dot here. And then it is also gonna have a butt weld 90 here. So we are gonna go ahead and draw a dot here and a dot here. I typically use the next line or square over just to keep things even and looking cleaner on our drawing here. But as you can see, now we have a flange here with our pipe running straight. And then we have a butt weld 90 pointing in the downward direction with another weld neck flange here at the bottom. And on this spool piece, we are also going to add a high point bleeder here. And I'm just drawing this as if I was you know, replicating a spool that I was looking out in the field, you know, to replace where I didn't have a drawing to be able to go off of. And remember, you want to make this drawing as clear and as legible as you can and for somebody else to be able to look at this and understand which way the spool piece is orientated and which way everything lines up so somebody else can get this drawing and fabricate just as you would with an engineering drawing. So here I'm gonna draw what I drew there. That is a you know, socolet, three quarter inch. I've got our pipe nipple there. Then I'm gonna draw a smaller gate valve here. So up on this upper right corner, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in our our bill of material here. This will help anybody figure out what fittings and what size pipe and everything we're dealing with. Right now, it doesn't have a size, it doesn't have basically anything. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, number it out here. What I like to do, guys, is I'll use this smaller circle here, and I'll go ahead and draw it down here just kind of out of the way you don't want to make the drawing too cluttered then here i'm going to draw three of them for the three components here for our bleeder and what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line pointing to each of the piping components that i'm trying to identify here Start off with one here, and we're gonna make this a four inch, 150 pound weld neck raised face flange. This will be one. So I'm gonna go here and draw one. Specifying that's our four inch 150. On this one, we will be changing it. We'll say that this one is a four inch 300 pound weld neck raised face flange okay so go ahead and put our two here and then here we had said it's going to be a three-quarter bleeder so this will be a three-quarter inch on four inch three thousand pound socolet the next component in this is going to be our pipe nipple here so we are going to put it as a three-quarter inch by four inch long schedule 160 pipe nipple and then we're going to specify our valve now we're going to say that that is a three quarter inch 800 pound gate valve so i'm going to go ahead and label these as the way they're drawn here so we're going to go three four and five so here we need to designate our piping. This is gonna be four inch standard 
A106. And as you become more familiar with all these uh, abbreviations and stuff like that, by looking at other drawings and stuff, you know, this will designate material and stuff like that. But, you know, usually if you're rebuilding something, you'll get a pipe spec specifying, you know, what kind of material you should be using. You know, for this, we're just doing an example of, of carbon steel here. Six and I'm actually missing a line here. So I'm just gonna draw it out here. Seven, we'll put our 90, 90 degree elbow standard. Okay guys, so we have our drawing laid out here. We have it showing our material of what we're gonna be using. And I know the bill of material is not perfect. It doesn't have all the full abbreviations. You know, this is just an example. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to basically mark it up to be able to put your measurements on here. So what I like to do is run the line up further here, you know, leaving a little space between, but still following our light blue lines here as our guide. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the end of this flange here. You guys can see I'm gonna line that up there. And then I am gonna draw a line this way and a line this way. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some arrows on it. And here we're gonna say this is four foot, five inches, and three sixteenths of an inch. What we do also need to designate here is how this dimension is taken. So here we're gonna put F to C. That designates from the face of our flange to the center of our 90. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here for this side. Okay, also pointing arrows. And if you notice, I'd, I'd like to follow exactly our blue lines just to keep our drawing very clean, very neat. And here we're gonna say this is three foot, two inch, and five eighths. So our only dimension here that we're missing is our dimension from center of 90 to our bleeder here. I'm gonna draw a line directly over the center of this. And then I'm gonna draw a line over with an arrow and we're going to say that this is you know 13 inches you can see guys this is a very simple drawing you know it's of course it is not perfect it does not look like a engineering computer drawing but all the information is there for us to be able to look at this drawing and be able to build our spool. Hi guys, so my name is David Svisa. Showed you guys the basics of uh, drawing isometric drawings for piping. If you have any questions, hit me up on my Instagram. And remember, if you guys liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys on the next one.